Good morning, class. It's me again, and this is under your reading. So, if you printed out the reading paper, it would say a big white hen. If you didn't print it out or weren't able to print it out, look at your district website or class tag and read along as I do. My finger, your finger should be like my stick so you can learn the words, okay? So let's begin. A big white hen. There was once a big white hen that had 12 little chickens, little babies. They were very small and the old hen took good care of them. She found food for them in the daytime and at night kept them under her wings to keep them warm. One day, the old hen took the chickens down to the small brook, to the, to the stream, to the river. She thought some fresh air and water would do them good. When they got to the brook, to the river, to the stream, they walked on the bank on the side where the sand is or the dirt a little while. It was very pretty. And on the other side of the brook, on the other side of the stream or the river, and the old hen thought she would take her chickens over there. So they were going to cross over to go to the other side. There was a large stone in the brook, a large rock. She thought it would be easy for them to jump to the stone and from it to the other side. So they're going to go from the land to the shore jump on the rock and then from the rock to the other side of the land or to the shore or to the bank. She flapped her wings and cried, come here all of you, jump upon this stone as I did. We can then jump into the other side. Come now. Oh mother, we can't, we can't, we can't, said the little chickens. Yes, you can if you try, said the old hen. Just flap your wings as I did, and you can jump over. I am flapping my wings, said Chippy, who stood by himself, but I can't jump on the any better than I could before. And the chicken's wings were too simply too small to jump across. So they're too tiny, they couldn't do it. They didn't have big enough wings like mama. So let's see the questions. Number one, how many chickens does the hen have? So you have to reread the story and it's probably somewhere here in the beginning, okay? Number two, how did the hen find the brook? So you have to read over here again and see how she found the brook, the river, the stream. Number three, how could the chickens try to jump? Right here, they tell them what they do to try to jump. Remember with the wings? Okay. Number four, why don't the chickens obey the hen? Right here tells you why they couldn't get on the other side. Tell them why. Okay, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, so enjoy rereading and writing. Until next time, adios.